Hey Quinn, um, head just sat down from the gym. Um, open that up so you have better light. There you go. That might be a little too bright. Hold on. There we go. It's better. So, um, that looks weird. Sorry, my hair's a bit fucked up. So, I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna try to make it quick because it is currently 12 20 and I still have to eat my final meal and go to bed. So, um, it's been a while. Um, so first thing I'll go over is the knee situation. Um, so I just did leg extensions, um, which felt really good. Um, no knee pain really at all. Um, actually not, not even like at all, like no knee pain at all. Um, obviously I was able to do less weight than I normally could just because obviously I haven't hit legs in like a fucking wee two weeks probably we can have two weeks somewhere like that I can't remember um because normally I could do like 160 on the leg extension for like if I had a guess like eight to ten probably more but now to be fair because today was really busy my obviously Monday is really fucking busy so like it took a million years to get on the leg press for some fucking reason being Monday I wouldn't expect that but I instead just substitute for leg extensions and did, I think it was the 3 by 20 on that instead. I did 130 on that. So I was like, okay, not too bad. Um, I didn't get to do hack squats though because I was running a little bit behind because obviously he was fucking slammed in the gym day. But anyways, so um, let's see. The programs were going good. I feel like my upper body, I've been hearing from other people, like other guys just randomly in the gym. I have to personally thank you just in general, by the way. I'm getting a lot more compliments. People saying I've gotten bigger. Like, I remember I saw a guy from, like, two weeks ago. He saw me from after I was, like, taking, like, a break, I guess. Um, but he was, like, right after I hurt my leg. He was like, dang, bro, what have you been doing? Um, your arm's gotten bigger. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, no. Anyways, but, uh, yeah, in my back. I've noticed my back and my arms definitely have gotten the biggest. My shoulders have gotten rounder for sure. Um, so that's been nice. Um, what else? I haven't done this in a fucking minute, so I'm trying to remember the fucking questions. Um, sleep. Sleep's been pretty standard, not gonna lie. This weekend, like I said, it was busy. My sleep was kind of fucked, not gonna lie. Sleep was so dog. So dog water. <laughs> but, um, and that'll segue into good things and bad things. But the, obviously, the good things during the week is my knee felt way better doing... Those like rehabilitation exercises I found on from that knees over toes guys, that knee over toes guy, um, YouTube. So that was helpful. Also, so what happened with this goes into the what happened this weekend is one of my old friends from high school. She's a girl. Um, she stopped talking to me like two two and a half years ago, for basically no reason, and she messaged me like last week I think the weekend before this one. Um, and she said, she gave me like this big apology. It was kind of like you, like a Dave situation, I guess. I don't want to bring up anything, but it was kind of like that where, well, obviously I don't know the specific of your situation, but she was just kind of just a shitty friend of me, to be honest. She was just so, and she apologized. And so I regard that very highly of someone whenever like they know they fucked up and they own up to it. Cause that's one of my, I don't say it's one of my high quality, but like if I fuck up on something, I'm not going to like fucking lie about it. Like. I, I I put that on a high pedestal, people owning up to their mistakes. So she apologized to me, invited me over last this past weekend with her family and stuff, and her family loved me. So with with uh, with some of um, some other people that I used to know from high school as well, because I haven't talked to anyone since high school, really. Well, since senior year, I didn't talk to anyone since senior year either, but it's a whole other story. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was really good. That probably wasn't the best for gains, but it was, it was like a nice mix-up, like, because... I haven't had really anyone else to talk to besides really my girlfriend and like one other guy, one of my, like my fucking, basically my brother from high school. He's my best friend, but he's basically like a brother to me. So it was really nice. Um, so that's what I did, if you're wondering, that's what I did this weekend. Um, what else? Wait, I've been floating, like you said, I've been floating around 190. I've been going, I've been fluctuating between like just below 190, like 189, 188, and like, some days 191, 192. So it's been fluctuating the last two weeks. 
Um, but I've been staying relatively in the same place. Um, like this weekend, I weighed myself because I have to put I put my weights in for the week, but not this weekend because I fucking barely got to. Uh, but I know when I weighed myself when I got back Sunday, finally I weighed myself and I was like, I think it was the morning. I think I weighed like one eighty seven. I was like, holy fuck! Cause I barely I ate, I only ate like two meals. Um, Saturday or Sunday, but they're like really they're two really big fucking meals. Not gonna lie, cause I tried to compensate. Cause I knew I wasn't gonna eat that much today, so I tried to fucking cram in food. Um, exercise wise, exercise has been going pretty well. Um, because of this new style of training, I've had to lower the loads, obviously a little bit, cause it's like a more bodybuilding style of training. So I've been focusing more on contractions and form, going slower, getting more time and attention instead of just like exploding with the fucking weight up and just trying to get big numbers. Um, I mean, so I should used to, um, trying to use proper form, but, um, when I show you the, when I send in the photos, so you'll see my back has gotten bigger at least. For sure, for sure, back's gotten definitely bigger, in arms, um, and like I said, shoulders, what else, what else I'm trying to think, let me look at my program really quick, let me see, let me make sure I'm not missing anything, wait, sorry, I'm so sorry, I feel like so unprepared right now, because I just like just sat down, hold on, give me a second, let me pull up just so I don't, like, fucking... Um, also, the reason I'm trying to, like, find new foods, because, like, for the first, like, basically, like, medical cycle, I've had, like, the same food the whole fucking time, and it got kind of old, not gonna lie. Um, I have to have read that last day, actually. But anyways, I'll do that after this. But, yeah, let me let me look at everything. Um, I did 115 for that. Yeah, I made the mistake of today. Let me let me stop being specific and just go on general generalities. Um, so yeah, good news. Yeah, leg press. When I did it uh, last week, it was like sore of knee pain when I did it. But like, it's crazy. Just think of like a week like now. Like there's like actually like negative knee pain. Like there's no fucking knee pain. So um, that's been really nice. Um. My deadlift is still fucking strong, which I'm really happy about. I've just gotten more um, dry hands today, actually. So I'm so stoked about that. Because they're fucking right now. About two balls this time. Um, everything's been really nice. I have no complaints about this fucking this new program. I'm not going to lie. Like, nothing's been like, oh, I hate it. Like, every day, like, I get sick. I'm really happy to incorporate preacher curls, by the way, because I used to fucking love doing preacher curls. That's why I got my arms bigger in the first place, was preacher curls. I fucking love doing this. But I love doing hammer curls now, because I used to hate doing hammer curls, because of you, I love doing hammer curls now, because I got stronger at it, so I like doing it now. Um, let me see, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I was going to ask if we can incorporate now. I think we can incorporate leg extensions now if we can. Um, I don't know how I feel about leg extension yet, or sorry, not leg, uh, lunges. I haven't tried them yet. I'll update you on that. I might do it at some point. Maybe on my rest day, my rest day, because I'm still going to, like, obviously, I was going to do it where, because each day, it just takes way too long. So I'm going to do, like, my, um, at least my core and more cardio, because I do, like, fucking quick cardio. Um, it's, like, nothing crazy on my rest days. And obviously, I do, like, cardio on my lunches, but that's just walking. It's not, like, an incline or anything, you know? And I can't, like, or I can't adjust the speed, but obviously, I can. It's not constant. Um, overpress. It's so hard to build my overpress up. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my goddamn overpress. But for a long, I've been stuck in my overpress for the longest time. I don't know what it is, man. But it just... Overpress has always been a sticking point for me. I don't know fucking what it is, man. But overpress has been brutal. Um, I had just gotten... Boy, James came in clutch. I just ran out of LG or Legendrol and... Or let me just call it by the more known terms. Um, LG and MK. But he just came in clutch. Both my... Both my um, chalk... And my LG and MK came in today, so I was so fucking stoked. So I was using some old SARMs that I still fucking had that I kept just in case for emergencies, in case I ever ran out from James. 
Yeah, I'm having their fucking it's in liquid form. I don't know if you if you ever took some it took some of your liquid form, but oh my god, it tastes like fucking rubbing alcohol. So I just had to just stomach it for the last few days, um, which has been fucking brutal. So I'm ho- so happy those pills came in. God damn. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I've been wondering. Oh yeah, I was gonna. I've been mean, asking for this the longest time. Can we? Because <laughs> I know over our press is um a really core movement, but I was wondering, you know, if we can maybe switch it to dumbbell over press. Because I used to love doing those, and I don't want to. Again, it's your expert opinion. So, if you think we should just stick it out with over press, I will respect that. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like fucking. Be like, oh, whatever. But, I don't know. It's just, they're more fun to do. I feel like I can adjust the weight easier than I can on an overhead press. Because, obviously, it's plates and with dumbbells, it's easier to adjust the weight. Um, either standing or seating. I like doing seated, but it's up to you. But other than that, that's the only thing I would really change is the overhead press to, and leg press. I might keep leg press on there until I can squat again, actually, and just include leg extensions, actually. So yeah, how long is it? 11 minutes. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm trying to think of. I thought of the, the wins of this week was obviously hanging out with my old friend, my old best friend. Yeah, she was, she was my best friend back in the day. That's why that shit hurt because me and her were like fucking so close. I invited her to my 17th birthday to Kennedy Space Center because I was a fucking nerd back in the day, believe it or not. Um, well, I still kind of am, but we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, this cycle, I'm trying to get my weight up again, I'm trying to push the 195 morning weight, because I've been like, and that's like being more filled out, not so much more fat, because I've been feeling, because I've been taking off, my cardio suffered a little bit, because like today, beat my ass, compared to last week, like my last Monday, it wasn't as hard as this Monday, so I realized I had to get my fucking cardio together, because... It took the breath out of me, not gonna lie. Especially those remaining deadlifts. It's just kind of not used to the fucking high volume. <laughs> so fucking high volume. It beats my ass. Um, but, like, like, yeah, like the bench days, those aren't bad. But it's late, like Monday, it's fucking brutal. But I get sick pumps the other three days. Those days are fun days. This day is like a, like a workhorse day Monday. So I'm not complaining. I need, I need a hard working day. I just need to get used to it. Um, I'm sorry if I'm like, if I seem fucking manic right now, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I'm looking at the programming here. Yeah, I came, oh yeah, let's food, I came grass. So I'm going to Sam's Club, giving those 600 calorie muffins. I'll have like, instead of like the breakfast biscuits that you usually have, I'll have those with, um, two cups of whole milk. And then after that, I'll have my shake. So that's like easy, like what? Close to 2,000 calories in like two meals. But I do I do consume that within like a few hours because it is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'll eat the muffin at like 8 or something and then I'll eat the shake at like almost 10 o'clock, 10.30, something like that. So that's not it. And Chef Boy, dude, Quinn, I'm telling you, oh my God, bro. It's They're 98 cents a can and it's like 300 cows. And they're not big, obviously they're like normal size cans, so you can like down one really quick. It's so nice. Like if I'm like ever down on carbs, especially I can just toss in the can real quick. Fuck, it's so nice. Um, but yeah, I want to focus on getting my weight up and uh, more filled out, not just fat. Obviously, I want to get um, how, pack on my muscles specifically. So that's my goal of this cycle. Um, and now that I have more consistent arms, I should be not stressed out about, oh, fucking, oh, I'm about to run out or whatever. I could just be comfortable, like, just cruise through this. Like I did that last week. And this has kind of got me down bad, but I'm going to make sure I don't rush through this, especially with my legs, to get them back to where they were. I want to take things slow and be smart about it. Just being smart, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. I don't want to keep you here too long. Oh, yeah, I hope you feel better, by the way. You looked, I'm not going to lie, you looked fucked up. Jesus, I remember I had an experience like that. I remember I took gorilla mode, I think the first time. I think it was the first time I remember like I got gorilla mode. And the first time we took two scoops, two heaping scoops, the first time. And dude, we just had to stop our workout because like my 
body physically couldn't fucking handle the amount of energy my like mind wanted to exert or like my muscles wanted to exert like my or like my heart just couldn't fucking handle it. so i remember i know what you're going through like yeah my heart was fucking racing dude and i legit thought i was gonna pass out like it was kind of scary not gonna lie but i, I haven't took pre in a really long time just because i don't want to go from like a really high to like having to sleep like right after the around the gym, I have to eat a meal and go to bed, you know, so, that's why I stopped a while ago, not because, um, I don't like pre, or have a bag, I love pre, it's just, because of the time I go to the gym, I just, I can't do it, you know, because, obviously, I just take, um, the gorilla sleep, whatever the fuck it's called, I can't remember, so, I don't want to go from, like, having spiked fucking caffeine, and then, like, right after, like, an hour later, just taking fucking sleeping pills, you know, <laughs> so, I didn't know if that's healthy for me, so, I just, like, quit, Taken pre a while ago because I don't really need it either, to be honest. Okay, um, I think that's it. Um, I know you told me to work on being more concise with this fucking video, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I have to eat mom's spaghetti now. She left the microwave for me, so I'm gonna pound that, drink some milk, and call it a night. I'm update this last day for you because I, I see that I didn't put this fucking day in right here and today, so I'm gonna do those two days. Um, sorry, I didn't catalog my days for obviously the weekend. I, dude, I don't even, want, I don't even know how many calories I ate because it wasn't anything consistent. Like we ate out, we ate some random shit. <laughs> so I don't even fucking know. I don't even remember half the shit I ate. I just know it wasn't a crazy amount. So bum along today because I kept track of what I ate today. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, Quinn. See ya. It's good catching up with you. I'm fucking exhausted, and I'll see you. Probably not next Thursday, probably next weekend, probably Saturday. You know how the fuck I am, so I'll see you then. Hopefully we can get some weight.